Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks. And the other day I was making a video and I was using somebody else's file. And when I drew a rectangle, I got a color fill. And I've got a video on this, but I thought it'd just be easier just to do another one for this person. They want to know how you can get it where it just draws a hairline. Well, with your mouse, this is your left mouse button. This is your right mouse button. So if you double click your mouse button with the left mouse button, you get this screen. And then you just pick no fill and say okay. And then you hit graphic and hit okay. And then when you draw a rectangle, it only has a hairline. Now I draw a hairline if you don't want to draw a hairline. Then you could actually left click this twice again or right click it. But if you left click it twice, It'll come up with a graphic and then you'll get hairline. We can make it, we can make it 16 points and say, okay. So now when I draw a square, it's going to have a 16 point square box. So if you're drawing a lot of boxes with that line thickness, you can change the color. We can double click on it. We can make it black, hit okay. And I'm going to show you what I just did. Kind of made a mistake. It's still doing red because I had something selected it. I had something selected, so it's only going to do that box. So when you're doing something like this, make sure there's nothing selected when you double click on it. Go to graphic, set this for black, then hit OK. And then when you draw a rectangle or an ellipse, doesn't matter, hold down the control button and make a perfect ellipse, it'll draw that. But to get it back with nothing selected, double click on there, go to graphic. We're gonna set it back to hairline. We're gonna set it back to red and then hit okay. And then I would always go up to tools and set as default. That way, every time you start Corel, it'll draw in a hairline and just add a little, little more trick here. If you wanted all these shapes joined together you could use the well tool. Let me back up here a little bit. Let me take this box and make it encroach into that box. Then just select everything and weld it. Now you've got that shape. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.